Hey guys, so welcome back to the vlog. Over there, I've some headroom in the old jingle jangle. I picked this champion specifically because I was like, you know what? I am going to 1v9 this game. I'm taking the game into my own hands. I had a bit of a tilting game previously, you see. So I figured it was the best thing to do. And this is a great example of what you can achieve on this champion on Hecarim. We'll stream this live on twitch.tv slash foxdrop. I stream every single day at 1 p.m. GMT. I'll link to it in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and enjoy the video. Thongs? Oh, thongs. File it in the financial folders. Yeah, sorted. Not just a thong, okay. Thongs. What's up? I sh I swear she was not 16. Hello. A sick Essex burn. Thank you. In New Zealand, it's jandals. Jandals. What's that about? Sandals. Plus. What's the what's the jandal? What's the J part? Ah, oh, bollocks. Am I dead here? Dude, she nearly fucked that up. Oh, I hate Nidalee so much. Cause she's such an ir irritating knobhead to play versus. Alright, we go for the bot crib. Ready, you've got to be a little bit careful here, mate, because there could be a Nidalee. I mean, Nidalee has no flash. To be honest, with all these minions, I, I, I would... I guess if you're confident on on the rally, you could definitely get that kill there. Oh, yeah. Knocked back into the slow, baby. Yes. I'm going to help you push this shit out, mate. Did I say Bonzo in Australia? Bonzo? Ugh. That's an ugly, ugly play. I mean, I'm hella dead here. I'm just going to pray. Okay, I'm not hella dead here. I was going to say, I'm going to pray that the minions save me. Okay, my minions... Are, I've run out of minions. <laughs> I've run out of minions. Alright, this girl's going to go for... Crab here. But I ward this. Just in case Nidalee decides to invade me as well. Yeah, level, level 5 already is bloody extreme. She hasn't even recalled either. Like, I was level 3, mind you. Yo, good night. Good night, Zalexia, mate. Oh, she found me. This, this. Honestly, she avoided this and this ward here. She is irritating, man. She is irritating. But fair enough. I mean, we just got to survive this part of the game, right? And then we'll be fine. I think Nidalee in the heck room is level 6 at 5 minutes. Level 6 at 5 minutes. Yo, Headless Yuri. What's up, man? Yeah, she is good. I mean, it's just, it's just Nidalee in a nutshell. She's irritating as shit. But you got to, you know, you get past the lane phase and it's all good. She just don't want to don't wanna let us snowball too much. Can we get some love in the chat for Headless Yuri? Welcome, my friend. Alright, so I don't think any of my top sides up here. Okay, this just respawned. Nice. So, it's such, this is the benefit of nearly taking this camp. is Now I get to kill a level 5 Gromp instead of a level 1 Gromp. Which gives me a lot more XP. I'm going to ward this. We can't really have any good wards this game. But I mean, yeah, I mean, we can't really have any good wards because Nidalee really spots them out really easily. And I would almost bet my life savings on Nidalee invading my red buff when it comes up, which is soon. I probably should have recalled here, honestly. Don't have a huge amount of gold, but it's better than just doing this trek. 
bot lane's recalling as well. Okay, I have no smite. I'm gonna pull it up here. If Nidhi gets it, she gets it. You know. This is the this is the play that has the highest chance of me getting my red buff. Not Nidhi's mid. Level seven. What on earth? Yeah, she's coming for it. She's coming for it. She fancies it, that's for sure. There she is. She's coming back over, look at her. <laughs> like you see Nidalee's like this, and you're just like, how, how, how do they do that? <laughs> Like, legit, how do you do that, mate? That is beyond insane. Sixty four CS, I know, like what the hell? I don't even think she's taxing that much. I'm honestly very tempted to like buy a, my Cinder Hulk early. Just so that I have a better, like, I can put up a better fight versus Nidalee. When you have Triforce, you don't really do anything until, like, you've built Triforce, you know? Like, the components don't really do much for you. Where is Nidalee? Why isn't she here? Unbreakable. I don't know much about about Soraka mid, but is roaming like that? Does it help much? Look at this fucking knobhead. Uh <laughs> Jungle diff. Nah, actually, I'm gonna. Mm, nah, fuck it. What is she doing? Ah. Just three levels in me, man. Okay, I fucked up my Q then and nearly died. <laughs> Nidalee is very spooky. Very spooky. Ninety-two six. See, I don't even think I'm that far behind this game. <laughs> well, like by my own for, for my own kind of uh, benchmark, you know. I'm I'm doing all right, but it's just this Nilly is so like incredible. Okay, yeah, we should. I'm gonna play for bot side here. I don't think I'm gonna achieve too much, but I just in this game because as you can see this nearly just shits me and it is nearly smurf i mean i would not be surprised if she was smurfing but okay once i get my triforce i'm okay like we can kill her oh 
nasi spot. I think she's going to be on my red bar. Fuck me. Man, I miss my ult so much on Hecarim, it's actually kind of grim. Nice. Good shit. Yeah, I do- I try and get the kind of like perfect insect plane, I just- it a lot. What about Welshlers? I know Khaki Bank and Kyra Gig. Those are two Welsh square words. One of them's like shut your mouth. Shut your gob, I think is Kyra Gig. And Khaki Bank is something about fuck. Well, that's what I think it is, but I don't know for sure. what I heard. running away okay all right i think we're in a good spot now i've got my triforce and then i can get an mri and, and get my spirit visage next well, i'll get my boots but yeah after that spirit visage i'm just gonna sit here and see if nidalee shows top wouldn't be fully surprised can we even kill him here I mean, I really was not expecting this to still be alive. Do I want to play for this? Yeah, but I'm not using my E. There she is. Level 11. She's going to dive top, isn't she? My awareness levels are trash. Okay, we defo take that. Is this the first tower play? Nope. So I'm actually pretty okay with how this game's gone right now. I just really hope we're not tilted into oblivion. That's all. As long as we're not tilted into oblivion, then we're good here. Nah, I'm not getting two. Just the one. Dead. 
fuck. Close. Do I gank this bot here? Hmm, if nearly counters this, we are fooked. Okay, we chill, we chill, we chill, we chill. Got the TP. Why do I press E here? Can we save for this? Can we contest this? Or is this just another washed objective? We're not particularly healthy, but giving up third dragon seems a little bit much, you know? Especially against the Mordekaiser, are like... Nice, I got it. Alright, I'm smurfing. That's fine. Ah! I shouldn't have, shouldn't have right clicked him. This is too early as well. Ah! No, it wasn't. Never mind. Whew! Okay. Good shit. How much is Spirit Visage? 2-6 or 2-8? Two 2-8. Eight. Two eight. Okay, still a bit of gold left then. I might be able to just get it, but... I'm gonna share a bit of farm here. Maybe not. I think they're trapping. No? Okay. Alright, nice. I've got it. Right, this visage is really, really nice. Benefits the healing from Soraka, from the Athenes on Karma. He's not reading chat. Hey, I'm reading chat. Well, I'm kind of, I am pretty focused, I'll be honest. This is quite a... Quite a difficult game to play when you're playing jungle.
focus. Really? <laughs> Me? When do I normally complete my skirmishes in Hecarim? I usually get the jungle item second. Like, sorry, like, uh, it's my f the first thing that I buy. Does that kill him? So I like got my first recoil, I try and get it. Crazy. Not really sure what happened there. I think it's only Lee healed, I guess. Ah! No, she's not dead. I mean, we've got to fight this still, right? Can you guys hear my Hecarim mechanics? I'm so low, but Sraka can heal me up, right? Sraka, heal me. Sraka, please heal me. Thank you. Is this a bad play? Maybe. Fuck. Yeah, that's really bad actually. I think we lose Baron too now. Doing so good, and then this move kind of just threw, threw a lot. I needed to recall first, I guess, but hmm. all right. Yo, get rude, Baxter. Thank you for your prime sub, man. Appreciate that. Welcome, buddy. Give you my fox thing. Cheers, friend. Drop some love in the chat for him. Okay. Fox, did you ever find it hard bouncing trying to climb and always having to pick a different jungler every game? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to climb, you shouldn't pick different junglers or different champions. You should just stick to, you know, just a few. That's why recently, the past two streams, I've been doing Sejuani. Sejuani, Hecarim, and Nocturne. Maybe a little bit extra in there as well, but mostly those three. Nidalee has Zonis now. Hecarim, uh, Mordekai needs to take me if he doesn't want me to just kill his whole back line. Wait, I die here, right? Okay, that's worse. <clears throat> nice. Worth. 
Uh, do I want to Sterics or do I actually want to get Adaptive? Adaptive is so good versus Mordekaiser, but I don't think I need it, honestly. I need anti-healing. I need anti-healing. Do I... Executions is really good for anti-healing on Hecarim, though. Physical damage inflicts grievous wounds. But then again, uh, this isn't a good item on Hecarim. This is, but this isn't. Do I go, th do I go Bramble? But that means someone has to hit me. I'm actually going to go execution, as you know. Nah, these guys are going to be hitting me, right? Yeah, these guys will hit me. They'll hit me. They'll hit me. Yeah, and you're old school. How you doing, man? Jake? You're Jake, right? Yeah, you're Jake. Hello, Jake. Alright, this is going to be... Do I rush the Thornmail? Or do I get the Sterex? I'm still pretty underleveled in this scene. All things considered. Man, this played out perfectly. We we caught uh caught what's his face perfectly there, the victor. And Nilly wasn't even there. Nilly was up here. I think I'm gonna go adapted though, like. This seems like a pretty big counter to me right now. Or do I do Sash? Maybe I'll just do Sash actually. I'm gonna do Sash, fuck it. If I get taken in the ult, then I just... Yeah. I just straight up die. It really cucks me. It really cucks me. You think Hecarim's bad in this comp? Uh, well... I think... Mm, I think he's okay. So, Hecarim does struggle against strong pill. Which they do have a decent amount of. The only thing is that... I feel like in this game... Picking something like Hecarim is just... Like, I just have to do it. Well, maybe maybe I didn't in hindsight because we have this Aurelia on our team. But Aurelia was hovering Lulu, and I had her last game and she played Lulu, Lulu top. So when my mid laner locks in Soraka, my top laner is hovering Lulu, and I've still got like a support to play with, as in, comma. Then, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just thinking, okay, I'm gonna have to carry from the jungle position. What can I pick to carry from the jungle? And that's Hecarim. Yeah. What's up, Billzy? How you doing? Baron is up. This cloud soul isn't. Is it, it's not particularly big for these guys. It's quite nice for Victor actually, and I guess Lucian too, but not a huge thing. Yeah, what's up, not Joe Brov? Not, not Joe Brav, yeah, not Joe Brav, what's up? Okay. 
This is dying very fast. Really? Ah! Am I out? I think I'm out. Nice. Well played, Foxy. That Lucian's hunting me down like an animal. I'm out. Wouldn't have been too bad, you know. I mean, there's still Mel there, Zonia's. Obviously, Braum has a lot of armor. to go on Lucian. Okay. Don't think this Soraka fully grasps what Solo and Soraka does. Whoa. Holy shit. Good night, mate. Good night. Ah! Unlucky, bro. Wait, that hit him, right? Did that stun him? Oh, it did. I have my sash, but... I've got no ulti, so... The thing by the way. Do we keep going here? We've got Baron. I mean, we are against Victor though. Okay. I'm not. Bloody hell. Yeah, that's true. Formal is 2k. 1 9. Push side lanes? Mate, what is a side lane? What is a side lane? is already slow pushing I probably shouldn't don't need to touch that one but yeah all right okay guys big fight put up I'm putting up baby licks of wrath none of this path of iron bullshit actually this probably would have been quite nice moving these a path behind the boost move speed yeah it could have been quite useful but it's all good we've got licks of wrath we've got damage we got healing. Yeah, that's actually kind of mad. Focus. Careful for the poke. We've got uh, an inhib down as well, so we don't really need to rush this. Like we have, we have the power here. Doing. Just get out of here, Foxy. Come on. Aurelia's backdooring, guys. Aurelia's backdooring. Just stop and recall and we win. Shields 
she won the game. And I'm dead. But you Hell yeah! Holy shit! Holy shit! Man. I mean, this is why, yeah, this is why I picked Hecarim. This is exactly why I picked Hecarim. Precisely why. Straight up. Because I knew it. <laughs> I bloody knew it. Okay, we won. Yo, those are the games, by the way. These are the kind of games that get you promoted if you want to climb. If we, if I win this game, plus 17. If I lose, I mean, I don't know how much I'd lose. Let's say I lose like 17. Let's just say it's 17, 17. So instead of being on 36 LP, I'm now on 2 LP. It's a pretty big difference, you know? If you can pull back two or three games, Bam, you're in promos. From zero LP, bam, the promos. Well, yeah, kind of like that. If you think about it, because they're, like, they're worth double the LP, you know? So, yeah. Important to win those games, if you can.